All right, guys, we are back. If you're new here, my name is Curtis. Today I'll be talking about some of my favorite spring fragrances that I really enjoy wearing during that season. So about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I put out another video uh, for spring fragrances. So that video was part one. So today's video will be part two. So I'll be showing you another five fragrances in my collection that I think will fit perfectly in the spring season. So if you wanna see what I've chosen, then let's go. First up from the house of Nishane, we have Ambra Calabria. So Ambra Calabria has to be one of my favorite Nishane fragrances. I mean, you can see I've definitely put a little dent in that bottle. Um, this one is such a unique and intriguing scent. Um, this one starts out very green, slightly citrusy. And then once you move into the dry down, some beautiful amber and vanillas really start to push forward. And what makes this fragrance really unique is that the amber and vanillas aren't so heavy to where they would come off as cloying in that kind of warmer spring heat. And you could even pull this one off in the summer as well. This one takes you on a journey. You start out light and green and fresh and earthy and you kind of flip it around and you kind of move more to the sweeter side of things. But there is that kind of green, uh, green kind of freshness that lasts throughout the life of the fragrance. But, you know, like I said before, in that dry down, you really get that sweet ambery vanilla that pushes through. But this is such a gorgeous one. The perfumer on this one is Jorge Lee. He did an amazing job. And this is a unique one. I don't have another fragrance quite like this, another amber fragrance quite like this in my collection. So yeah, this is definitely a go-to during that spring season. And also, like I said before, this in Japan, in the summertime, it's very, very humid here, but you could even pull this one off in the summertime here in Japan. So it says a whole lot about this fragrance. The sweetness here just um, isn't overbearing or, or over, you know, isn't cloying, uh, and it just works really well. Uh, definitely a go-to favorite of mine. So yeah, you should definitely get your nose on it if you haven't tried before. But yeah, if you can, get yourself a sample of Ambra Calabria by Nishane. Next up from the house of Paris Monte Carlo, we have Rose de Taif X Straight. All right, now this is one that I haven't gotten to wear yet during the spring season because this is kind of a recent pickup for me, but I have worn this one uh, in the winter time, but I feel this one is really, really going to shine uh, during those warmer temperatures, especially in the spring um, and maybe even in the summer as well. Um, but this one is very thick, jammy rose and when you spray this one on your skin it is very oily you can see the oils here but this is probably the best rose fragrance on the market in my humble opinion uh, this one just smells extremely amazing basically for me when i first smelled this one especially on skin it kind of feels like i'm laying in a bathtub full of rose pe petals and someone is squeezing lemon juice all over me so you kind of get that blast of uh, citruses here. So it's it's a rose kind of citrus lemon combination and it's absolutely gorgeous and very refreshing too. Upon initial spray, you get that heavy blast of rose uh, and like lemon citrus. Uh, and that rose lasts through the entire life of this fragrance. It is very heavy rose dominant, but also in the dry down, you get some nice patchouli and musk that push forward. And this one just is stunning. Um, but like I said, the rose is very thick and jammy and it just leaves an amazing trail. But I'm curious to see how much of a trail this one leaves in those warmer ten temperatures. I feel like this one's just really, really going to shine. They did such a fantastic job. And Paris Monte Carlo is a very underrated house in my opinion, but I feel like this is the best fragrance that they have from their brand. Now they do have some other really amazing fragrances too, and they also have a line of summer fragrances that all smell amazing. So if you haven't smelled anything from the house of Paris Monte Carlo, you definitely should check them out, see if you can score a few samples. Um, they do really quality work, and yeah, it's an underrated house, so I hope they get more attention. So yeah, if you can, get yourself a sample of Rose de Taifex Straight from Paris Monte Carlo. Next up from the house of Maison Cribelli, we have Hibiscus Mahajad. 
So this is another kind of rose-based fragrance, but it has a, a sweet vanillic tone that pushes forward. But this is, I feel like this is gonna be a great spring and summer fragrance. Um, but there's also a refreshing kind of quality from the hibiscus here. I don't have another fragrance in my collection that features the note of hibiscus. So it just makes this fragrance very unique to my own collection. Um, but yeah, this one was perfumed by Quinton Biche and he's done a, a really, really nice job with this one. This is a beast in terms of performance. So do not overspray this one. Two sprays max is all you need. It is a room filler and it leaves a gorgeous trail. I really like this one. Also, Maison Crivelli, if you see like the red bottles, the red bottles were all perfumed by Quinton Biche. So, you know, he's he's perfumed uh, Bois Imperial from Essential Parfums. He's done Ganymede. So you might be familiar with those fragrances. Uh, he's a great perfumer in my opinion. And the perfumes that he makes are heavy performers. Um, beast mode quality performance on his perfumes. Um, and this one is no exception. This, one, Like I said before, this one pushes out really heavy. It's unisex 100%, but it does lean feminine. So definitely do not blind buy this. It's not blind buy safe. Uh, try to get yourself a sample. Um, but men can definitely wear this one and I enjoy wearing it. But for me also, this is more of like a daytime fragrance. I don't know if I would wear this one in the evening. Um, just me personally. Um, I feel like this one works really well in those summery day times. Um, but yeah, this is a great one. And, you know, I'm really curious to check out other fragrances from this house in particular. Uh, this is the first fragrance that I own from this house, but uh, I know they have some other ones that I'm really curious about, uh, like Patchouli Magnetique and also the Oud, the new Oud one that's in the blue bottle. I'm curious to check that one out as well. Um, but yeah, this is a great house and this is another house that, you know, they, it's kind of underrated house, I think. Um, they definitely do some good quality work. So it's one to check out. So if you can get yourself a sample of Hibiscus Mahajad from Maison Crivelli. Next up from the house of Premier Perfumes Kuwait, we have Royal Vetiver. Man, you guys, if you have not checked out anything from Premier Perfumes Kuwait, you definitely should. These guys, they're a newer brand, but they put out some quality, quality fragrances. I mean, seriously, their fragrances are no joke. They just smell very unique. They perform well, and you can tell that there's, you know, there was a lot of thought and technique put into these fragrances. Uh, this one especially is one of my favorites from the brand. Um, the vetiver here is done to perfection. Uh, it's definitely very green, a bit smoky, very earthy, but there's also a fruitiness in here. And when you catch whiffs of this in the air, you know, it just smells very sophisticated, classy, professional, um, but also slightly sexy, you know, because in my opinion, vetiver isn't really like a playful or a sexy note. Uh, it comes off as very professional uh, and classy, but this one, there's a slight sexiness about it. Um, but again, it's very gentlemanly and you do have to be quite confident to pull this one off, I feel. Um, you know, again, like if you're, if you're someone who's not familiar with the note of vetiver, then maybe starting out with a fragrance like this isn't the best option. There's, there's other fragrances that you should probably go to first before you move into a fragrance like this. Um, but this one, if you are a vetiver lover and you haven't checked this one out, then you definitely should. This one is just green, earthy, a bit smoky with a, a hint of fruitiness floating around. It's a gorgeous one. And it's one that is gonna be in my collection for a long time. I mean, this is a 100 ml bottle. I don't know if I'll ever go through this completely. Uh, but yeah, this is a gorgeous one and it's a beast on performance. So if you can get yourself a sample of Royal Vetiver by Primera Perfumes Kuwait. And finally, from the house of Zhirzhov, we have Neo. Man, so this one has to be one of my favorites from Zhirzhov. This one smells like sophisticated, classy, 
high quality, luxurious Irish spring soap, essentially. Um, this one just smells very fresh. It's a Neroli bomb. If you don't like Neroli, you may not enjoy this fragrance too much, but I absolutely love Neroli. So this one is perfect for me. So basically with this one in the top, you get some bergamot and green notes. And then in the mid, you get some cardamom and pink pepper. And in the base, you get some heavier notes like vetiver, patchouli, and a bit of amber. Um, but yeah, this one is a stunner and one to check out if you haven't. This one is just very fresh, clean, but it also smells quite opulent. Uh, I absolutely love this one. This one really shines too for me. Like when it's not, when, when it's spring, but it's not really, really hot, you still have some cooler temperatures. And this one in the cooler air just smells so good in the bottle. Look at this. I don't know, it's something about these bottles that I absolutely love. Just class. <sighs> I literally could bathe in this stuff. It smells that good. But yeah, it's, it's definitely one to check out if you haven't, uh, and it performs quite well, uh, especially for, for a fresher fragrance. The performance on this is, is great. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Neo by Zhirzhov. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And let me know down in the comments section, what are some of your spring go-tos? I'd love to hear about them. Well, I hope you guys are staying healthy and well, and I'll see you in the next video.